All right, folks, we're going to do a little video. Um, another M939 air problem. Um, it's a common problem. Um, what happens a lot of times is that somebody will complain. Like, uh, uh, you know, their complaint is that wipers don't work, horn doesn't work, um, and their air dryer won't pop off and just keeps building pressure until the emergency blow off hits, which is 150, PS, 150 psi. So, what the people do is replace the governor, which is up there on the firewall, as you can see. Um, that's never the problem, typically. One way to check that is, is that you take off one of the metal lines on the governor right there, that comes across your firewall. That bulkhead adapter right there is actually um, supply for the wipers. That is air that comes down the frame rail. Comes down the frame rail on these trucks. There's a block right, should be right there, right in front of that uh, transfer case front mount. There's a block, it's a four-way block. Two of those lines go to the transfer case, that linear valve in the transfer case, and the uh, rear interlock solenoid. And the front line of that block goes to the front of the truck. The rear of it goes down behind the frame, the cross member that goes to the air dryer again. It goes across. It should be yellow. Yellow is pressure protection side. Um, but it goes across, it goes around. It is that line right there. Pressure protection valve there. Now, that being said, like this primary tank here is closed because it's got an air leak on the shutter stats. So I got the primary tank closed. But you have air coming out of your wet tank. If you're building air pressure, You'll have air coming out of your wet tank. If the pressure protection valve is bad, it's not going to let any air go to that line, which then goes around the frame rail to that block over there. Where actually where that, uh, the yellow line is just to the left of that, there's a block with four lines on it, top, bottom, and whatnot. You can kind of see it right there. All right, there's no air over there. It means no air to the transfer case, which means no air up to the governor. The governor reads the air off the pressure protection side in order to turn the compressor off. So, in order to turn the unloader off, it'll actually it'll hit the unloader. It has to see air pressure. Well, if this governor's not open, there's no air going to the, if the pressure pressure valve is not open, there's no air going to the governor, so the governor can't see to turn off and just keeps running. So, the pressure protection side is only open after 60 PSI in the tanks. So, that's what you can look at. Um, is that. That's the only thing that will cause that problem. No air going to it unless your wet tank is dry, but if you have air going to your primary and secondary, then that's no big deal. You know, you got a pressure protection valve that's bad. So, bad pressure protection valve, which means no air to the transfer case. The transfer case won't do anything, and it means no air to the wipers or the horn or anything in the cab that requires air other than the parking brake override. So, that's on a separate circuit. Everything else, like your washer pump and everything else, is on the same circuit. And the governor has to see that air pressure in order to turn the compressor off. I uh, note also that cotton jacket line right there goes around, comes down. It actually is the smallest line on the dashboard on the firewall. Um, number four JSCs on both ends. That goes down to the frame rail down there, and that turns into an eighth inch uh, air line that goes to the uh, blow off control the uh, governor control port on the air dryer so that cotton jacket line is the control for the air dryer to blow off that sends air down it back to the gov back to the air dryer makes it pop off the metal line on the bottom of course is your unloader goes to the compressor and another line of the supply lines the bulkhead which then comes around goes down and tees in down there um, so and that's the that is the line the metal line here is a supply line from that pressure protection valve back on the wet tank.